Hi, my name is Eugene. I'm head of business intelligence at crypto exchange Exmo.com. You still claim that crypto is creepy and complicated? I say no, it's easy and fun. And do you know why? Because here I won't explain something unknown with something equally unknown. If those complex concepts made easy is what you're looking for, then you are in the right place. So turn your crypto mode on, subscribe to our channel and enjoy valuable crypto insights and important market information. Well, today we will have a battle between the two most promising crypto projects, Solana and Nia Protocol. And you'll see which one is going to win. Unless you've been living under a crypto rock, you know that there are a lot of cryptocurrencies in the market. Like around 10,000 active projects. Quite many, isn't it? And some of them are as similar as two Ps. Nia Protocol and Solana also don't like similarities. And this is not because they are using blockchain technology, like most cryptocurrencies. By the way, do you know what blockchain is? For those unfamiliar with the term, Blockchain is simply a chain of blocks that contain data about crypto transactions. Data is linked chronologically, so it's almost impossible to change or hack. This makes blockchain a very secure technology. Now, let's get back to the point. Both Nier and Solana networks went live back in 2020 and won the hearts of the institutions almost instantly, attracting hundreds of millions of investments. And for a good reason. Both were designed to be Ethereum killers that is to outperform the second largest cryptocurrency. Just like Ethereum, Solana and Nier allow users to create dApps. For your information, a dApp is simply any app that is built on a blockchain. While Ethereum was the first to enable dApps, it has many drawbacks, such as low scalability and extremely high transaction fees. Nier and Solana aim to solve these issues, and quite successfully too. Solana holds the record of the fastest blockchain in the market. This speed monster can process as much as 65,000 TPS or transaction per second. It's much faster than a traditional payment system like Visa, which can handle only 25 TPS. Nier is slower than Solana, capable of processing up to 10,000 transactions per second. So Solana wins the first point in this battle, I guess. Yet Nier is still a lot faster than Ethereum, which can handle only 15 TPS at this time. Both projects stand out for extremely low transaction fees, thousands of times lower than those on Ethereum. Quite impressive, wouldn't you agree? Okay, we already know that these blockchains are fast and cheap, but now let's have a look at how it all began. Solana started in 2017 and was named after a small beach town called Solana Beach, where the company's founder Anatoly Yakovenko lived for the three years. Nier was founded a bit later, in 2018, by a former Google engineer Ilya Palasuhin and Microsoft developer Alexander Skidanov. Solana's development is coordinated by Solana Foundation, a non-profit organization based in Switzerland, while Near Protocol's development is coordinated by Near Foundation, a non-profit organization based in Switzerland. <laughs> so similar, right? But what about differences? In effect, there are many and we'll discuss them all. While both of them rely on proof-of-stake consensus algorithm to verify transactions, they use different mechanisms to ensure great scalability and increase network bandwidth. Just in case you don't know, all blockchain transactions should be verified to protect the funds of users and prevent fraud. To do this, blockchain uses a certain consensus algorithm. The proof-of-stake algorithm relies on validators to verify transactions. Validators are chosen depending on the number of coins they hold, or in other words, they stake. Okay, let's stick to the subject. Nier, 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 Nier and Solana uses the same consensus algorithm but employ different mechanisms to allow for a fast transaction speed. Solana relies on the proof of history mechanism that makes time stamming transaction possible. Nier uses a sharding approach. In November 2021, it released the simple Nightshade solution, which split the blockchain into four data segments, or in other words, shards. This greatly helped to increase the network's capacity and efficiency. Now it's time to compare the number of validators in each blockchain. Keep in mind, the more validators that are connected to the network, the more decentralized it is. And this is where Solana has edge with 1800 validators against only 100 validators connected to the NIA. So NIA is more centralized. However, Transactions on Solana are usually processed by a much smaller group of 150 validators, so both projects had a lot to do to increase decentralization. Robust economics is also where Solana stands out from the crowd. The platform has a native token Sol, 
which is used for staking and paying transaction fees. Sol has initial total supply of 500 million tokens, but doesn't have a fixed maximum supply since the network automatically issues a certain amount of new tokens each year, based on the inflation rate. NIA protocol has a native token called NIA. It's also used for staking, paying transaction and data storage fees, as well as to vote for proposals. NIA has a maximum supply of 1 billion, but a 5% on the total supply is issued additionally each year to pay for the data's rewards. But what makes Sol so special is that Sol investors can sell quite a lot of their tokens without crashing Sol's price. Solana also has a great inflation and stake-in mechanism and is perfect for a long-term investment. On the other hand, NEO protocol has a top-notch transaction fee mechanism and can also see considerable growth during the bull run. Both coins are a reliable investment, but when it comes to security, NEO protocol takes the cake. For the last few years, Solana has experienced a series of transaction failures that have been widely covered and discussed on social media. In February 2022, the blockchain went down for a full 48 hours, which led to Sol's price decreasing. If Solana fails to solve these outage issues, they will definitely take its all on coin's price. NEO protocol has also faced some challenges but they are much smaller than those of the competitor. So NEO protocol definitely wins on the security side. NEO also supports a user-friendly interface and is perfect for beginners. The project's creators claim that any developer can launch their first application on the NEO protocol blockchain in just five minutes. But to be honest, both platforms allow users to build decentralized applications relatively easy. Finally, what about the community? I won't surprise you by saying that both projects have a strong community and millions of active users. There are now more than 20 million near accounts and as many as 37 million active Solana users. These numbers are likely to grow. To sum up, Solana is super fast and cheap as well as has a strong tokenomics model. Near protocol is a bit slower, but also cheap, secure and easy to use. But it's still in the process of development, so more great things are to come. As you can see, both coins have their pros and cons, both have great features and mechanism, and what's most important is that both are still growing and show a lot of promise. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss more interested and uncreepy crypto insights. Bye-bye.